Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're talking the hatch alarm. Is it worth it? Should you get it? Is this a scam? All of those questions come to mind whenever I first got my hatch, which I've had for I think over a year now. And you know what? Let's just get into my real, raw, honest review of it. I have the Hatch Restore 2, so the color, it didn't have color options at the time. The color that I got is called Putty. It's just the original color that it came in, which is kind of like a, a beigey tone. And I have it unplugged right now, so it's not going to do anything. But this is what it looks like. It's pretty small. I have really small hands, so... It's cute, it's aesthetic. I mean, I feel like that's like one of the first main reasons people are obsessed with it. As for pricing, the hardest part to consider if you are wanting to buy one. And I got this for $169.99. I think I got mine on Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, that is insane to me if you, I, I understand. I totally understand if that price is out of like, literally insane. I'm not sure if there are other cheaper alternatives out there, but I do have the original hatch. I love many of the features that it offers, but that hefty price tag is ridiculous. I have to say, I, I will say that that is overpriced. Um, as for reviews and everything, it has four and a half star, like 2,780 reviews on the website right now. So that is really good. A lot of other people are very satisfied with the actual product. Really decide if that's worth it for you because that is expensive. And not only do they get you with that $170 price tag, there is a monthly fee if you want to get the Hatch subscription. And this is called the One Hatch Plus subscription. It's $4.99 a month. That unlocks every single option for you in the app and to utilize it but basically to set and do anything you kind of need the subscription so you you have to consider that price as well when getting it so again really weigh your options here i don't know if that's worth it considering you have to get a subscription and you have to pay that hefty price tag at the beginning actually get your hatch it comes with the actual hatch it does have a power cord and you get um, like a little guide kind of explaining how to set it up. The weight is 1.27 pounds, which feels pretty light to me, but I guess that's, you know, that sounds pretty heavy. Um, and then you do have to have Wi-Fi working to be able to get this thing to work because it kind of, it relies off of Wi-Fi. As far as setting it up, setting it up is pretty easy. Like it just takes downloading the app and pairing your hatch and kind of recognizing it on the Wi-Fi. So here's mine. I have my restore and inside the app. And if I just click into it, I did all the settings. Oh, so right now it's telling me um, that my restore, or it's telling me that my restore is not connected, but that's because I have it unplugged right now. You can totally see my yoga mat for this Pilates challenge I'm doing and my curtains are messed up, but please ignore that. Um, I moved my camera so I can connect to my hatch from my living room. I have completely unplugged it, plugged it back in. You have to wait a few seconds for it to connect like that. So we'll wait a second for this to connect. You press and hold this pairing button at the bottom until you see it show up on the app. So now it's showing that it's on after I pressed the pairing. Good so morning. <laughs> it's another wonderful day. It's talking. I'm here to inspire you to start your morning with an uplifting breath practice. Well, Eric breathing. And I guess everyone's form. getting a sample a of what of it's like to listen to the hatch every morning. Per minute. I don't know why it's and playing like that. Like that sounds off, open your pillow so you feel supported. Close or relax your eyes. And out to arrive. I don't know why it's doing that, guys. For real. It's asking for my Wi-Fi password, so I'm going to put that in really quick as a part of the setup. Put that in. We have to wait for it to connect, so that'll be a few minutes. I just went online, as you can see, took like a couple minutes for that to start working. So I'll start screen sharing in the app right now so you guys can kind of see and I'll scoot over so we can see what's going on. So I have my little evening set up in the rest tab. It's so cute how they have this set up, the rest library and rise. So the library I believe comes with the subscription and um, you know, obviously you get more if you buy the subscription or whatever. But 
let's look at my evening so for my unwind i currently this is kind of what you can set to have go like 15 minutes before your bedtime and for me i just have it on like the red function so oh i just dropped it so it's actually on that right now as you can see it's really kind of hard to see you can adjust the brightness as well but it's red uh, it's playing the sea of sins which is like a nice relaxing kind of white noise sound and you can also have it play the sleep which this is going to play until you turn it off and mine's on right now but it's just like a relaxing um white noise you can choose the noise there are a lot of options and yeah that's kind of the evening so you can schedule it as well um, there's all these options as you can see when you do the scheduling you can choose the coloring so I can choose deep ocean, lavender sky, the sound, um, and then you can choose the days, the brightness, the volume, and the time. So it's really great that if you want this to just automatically start working every day on a set schedule, that's perfect for that. The same thing in the morning. Um, again, you can choose what kind of sunrise you want to wake up to and lots of options i'm i'm loving the conquering fuji and spring sunrise are like the ones i mainly use because i love the warmth in them so you know it's really up to you and you can choose different sounds as well to wake you up and the volume and let me tell you the volume on this thing is super loud so if you are someone who cannot wake up and you need a super loud alarm after that normal light period um this will do it for you so for me i have it set for like 30 minutes when i start waking up so if i want to wake up at 5 a.m at 4 30 a.m it'll start my sunrise and it'll gradually brighten and brighten and brighten and then eventually light up the whole room by 5 a.m and if i'm not up at that time um without you know without the noise it will start the alarm sound and it is an extremely loud alarm sound i must say but that is perfect for me because I cannot wake up with a soft iPhone alarm. I am so good at sleeping through the iPhone alarm. I love having things set on a schedule like this because it allows me to just have it quick and ready and I don't have to worry about it and I know that it's already programmed to align with my weekly schedule and my wake up times. So I love that. I love the fact that it's lowering my stress in the morning by waking me up with some light instead of waking me up with that harsh noise. And again, the sounds that it offers are a lot more relaxing if you want to have a relaxing wake up sound. Like there's one, I remember my, and I had the like gong, I think it's the gong or chime noise go off in the morning. And he, he got so scared because he said it sounded like he was waking up and um, being sacrificed. Uh, so I'm not allowed to use that sound anymore because it's very scary, but I find it relaxing. I also, one of my favorite parts is kind of the way it cues me to start my evening wind down. When I have it on that set timer, I know like, okay, it's close to my bedtime. It's time for me to wind down for the night. And that allows me to do that because it starts going off. It starts playing my music. It does the, or my, my white noise. It starts doing the light, the red light that I like. So I love that because it kind of gets me on my schedule, gets me on my routine. And um, that's, one of, that's one of my favorite things for sure about the hatch. Well, would I recommend the hatch? I really, it's hard because I would say for the price, I think that I'm sure that there are other alternatives out there that will do the same thing and you don't need a subscription for. But for my aesthetic girlies who want the hatch really bad and are curious about the features and are scared it's not going to be valuable for you, I really do think that it will. Um, it's really up to you. So if it's something you really wanted and it's aesthetic and it's going to add to your life, I would get it. But again, I don't think if you're on the fence about it, I would say don't get it because it, it is an investment. It's expensive. So it is all I have really it's over here making white noise right now, trying to tell me to go to bed because it's late right now. But hopefully that helped explain a little bit more about the hatch. Uh, I, I'm sure there's going to be questions. If you have questions, I will get to you. Put them in the comments. I love answering and talking and chatting with everyone. So yeah, that is everything I have for today. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.